In America, the issue of race and racism comes forward, then recedes, then comes forward again. It's in the news today, just as it was 51 years ago when Detroit exploded. Even as Motown music was grooving the entire country, the city of its birth was at a crossroads. Unemployment was high, income was low, and segregation was the de facto law of the land. A mostly white police force ruled black communities like an occupying army. Something had to give. And it's when that something gave and Detroit began to burn that we look at the focal point of Dominique Morisot's insightful play, Detroit 67, directed by Daryl V. Jones, which is playing at Aurora Theater Company in Berkeley through October 7th. The action takes place in the basement of a house owned by brother and sister, Lank and Shell. They've been using the space as an illegal after-hours club. It was a raid on an illegal bar like theirs that would spawn the riot, the rebellion, the police war on citizens, whatever you want to call it. The two have inherited some money. Shell is a realist. She wants to save the money as a backup. The ambitious Lank wants to use it to buy a bar, a legal bar, in the neighborhood. The plot unfolds when Lank and his jaunty friend Sly rescue a young white woman off the street and bring her back to the house. Who is she? Why did she faint in the street? And with violence about to break out and the cops on the loose, bringing her home is a singularly dangerous act. Detroit 67 is a stunning look at life inside a culture narrowly bounded by the societal and institutional racism of the outer world. The Motown sound may have gone worldwide, but Detroit is locked into a miasma of hopelessness and poverty. Sensational performances from Halili Knox as the ambivalent shell and Raphael Jordan as the ambitious and reckless link are complemented by Myers Clark as his best friend Sly and Akila A. Walker as Shell's streetwise friend Bunny, who both find their own ways to deal with untenable situations. Emily Radosevich does her best as Caroline, the rescued white woman, but the character itself never quite rises above its role as a plot device. She's more prop, more furniture than character. That could be a flaw, or it could be deliberate. By keeping her character at bay, the audience is forced to only identify with the African-American characters. And that, of course, is the point. If much theater is ultimately about empathy, then Detroit 67 more than does its job. It's impossible to leave the play without being moved. Detroit 67 by Dominic Morisot, directed by Daryl V. Jones, plays at Aurora Theater Company in Berkeley through October 7th. For more information, you can go to auroratheater.org. I'm Richard Walensky on Bay Area Theater for KPFA.